What's up everyone, I'm Justin, and today we're going to be building a Python template. Why a Python template, you may ask? Because Python projects take forever to set up. I ultimately want to build something that's going to save a lot of time and get new projects off the ground really quickly, which means that there's less time setting up things and more time building the code that you actually want to use. Let's go ahead and dive in. I build a lot of Python projects, and they all share the exact same starting structure. A setup.py file, readme, testing framework, CI configuration, folder structure, and more. Why reinvent the will each time when you can just copy paste that will? So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. We're going to start off by building the readme and adding the sections that I most reference whenever I look at new projects. How to install it, how to use it, what is it, and items like that will really go a long way to helping the next person that comes around. Next, we're going to set up the folder structure of the project. We're going to add an empty init file, and then we're going to add a base my module file. This is the one where the actual logic is going to live for the Python project that's built. Um, and we're going to go ahead and import that in the init file so that it can be used as a package for uh, the future. Next, we're going to add the class. We're going to add a uh, basic function that can be used. Uh, just some boilerplate code that makes it really easy to get started. We're going to add the name main function and the main function as well. Now this isn't going to do anything, but what it's going to allow for is that the next person that comes along and wants to use this template can really quickly swap in their logic, add anything that they need, um, and really quickly start building their project. The next thing we're doing is adding the testing framework. Uh, so we go ahead and add a test folder and a unit folder inside of that for our unit tests. Then we're going to add a simple my module test file, which can have the logic added to it later. Next, we're adding a .coverageRC file. This is for coveralls um, and, and coverage, the Python package, to be able to skip specifically the name main uh, block because we don't necessarily want to test that. Then we're going to add a .flag8 file, uh, which is going to allow us to have 100 characters per line instead. Then a .gitignore file, which is going to ignore certain items that we don't want in our Git repository. Then a travis.yaml file, which is our CI configuration. This is what's going to test our project, run linting, and eventually it can be configured to automatically publish uh, our package to PyPy when we're finished. Next, we're adding a change log, pretty standard. Uh, anything that gets changed, any release that we make, we want to document it so that anybody using the package will know what's changed in between versions and they can decide which version is best for them. Next, we're adding a license, pretty easy. I typically use the MIT license for everything, so we copy paste that in. Next, we're using the make file here. This is fantastic. Uh, it's usually used for C, C++, C Sharp projects to build uh, binaries, but it's great for Python projects as well because we can very quickly allow for install, linting, testing, and running targets uh, so that you can use one set of commands instead of trying to remember what each one is. Next, we add a setup.py file. This is what's going to allow the project to be uh, installed and what the configuration is for the package on PyPy specifically. Next, we're adding an assets folder. This is where I typically will place the readme image and any other images that we may need in the project that don't necessarily fall under code itself. Now we're adding the actual project readme. This is the one that's going to be used for the project that the template is uh, started with. And the readme itself that we're looking at is going to be for um, this repository. So basically, we're having one that has instructions on how to use the template and one that can actually be used for your project if this template were to be used. You would delete the one, rename the other, and you'd be on your way. Right here, we're adding the badges to the readme. This is what's going to allow for us to see what the build status is, uh, the version on PyPy, what the license is, and the coverage of unit tests. Really great for a quick glance at any new project to see exactly what the status is uh, and if you want to use it or not. Here we're adding in instructions for the makefile targets. Basically, how do we install it via PyPy? How do we install it uh, with the makefile locally? How do we get help? How do we run unit tests? How do we run the project? How do we lint it? All of these things 
for the most part are accomplished via uh, the make file. There you go, now we have a Python template ready for you to use to save you time and energy on your next project. If you like what you see, subscribe to me and we'll see you next time.